just some days ago the Frozen Flame demo launched. So go check it out on Steam. Link as always in the description. Today's video is a beginner's guide to Frozen Flame. Really only meant to cover the basics of it. A walkthrough for the main storyline will follow soon. Don't worry. Starting a single player game, we can for now only choose between campaign and survival mode. There's a tutorial which I'll skip and then we go to the character customization. It's very basic for now. You can change between male and female, different face details, hair, eye and skin color. Like the tooltips tell you, R is for randomization. The first important mechanic is teleportation. Those teleporters, however they're actually called in game, can be found all across the map. Once you have unlocked one, aka walked over it, you can always teleport to it using the map. With E you can pick up resources, for example stone, fiber, branches and logs. After that we craft the obligatory axe in our inventory and you might have guessed it, use it to continue to destroy nature. We humans seem to have a strange tendency for that somehow. Next up is cooking. You can get a food by killing animals, harvesting bushes, etc. Then all you need is a campfire. Craftable in your inventory, put in some branches and combine different base ingredients into the best meal you've ever had. There's a nice campfire animation as well and food is early game basically your only reliable healing source as well as giving bonus HP on top of that. Back in our inventory we have our HP bar, red and our XP to next level up bar, blue on the left side, as well as some information about our stats, weight and equipment such as weapons and armor as well as active buffs. We can sort our inventory with the symbols you see me clicking now. The next step is for crafting. And this one shows you your attributes, which are not stats by the way. And then the last one is for receiving and sending friend requests to a player nearby in-game. That one is very important, I think. Building. Though things called construction cores cost nothing and enable you to build as well as serving as a home teleporter unless you build foundations over it or block it. In the green bubble you see now you can build. Open Q for the building menu. We have different materials, basic, wood, stone, magic and then the tools repair and destroy. More things like decoration etc are crafted in the different workbenches but here I'll only cover the basic ones. Craftable in your inventory for 12 locks seems pretty easy, but here's where the fun begins. It wants shelter. Why ever this dead piece of wood can demand anything from us is unclear, let me tell you, it's very stubborn however, so if you want to use it, better do as it says. But what the hell is shelter? Well, basically a buff. You or your workbench can need or have. The game basically checks whether a larger object is covering you, meaning you can search for a cave you can build in or just simply build a big enough roof yourself. After this little demonstration of the building system, you now have a shelter, which is shown through the little house buff below our health bar. Now go ahead and finally place your demanding little wooden friend. But before we talk more about the workbench, let's do a little cursed camp. They can be found all across the map and once you have cleared it you can claim the main chest as well as some boxes or vases for side loot. This very easy one we find a basic armor blueprint. You need them to unlock new weapons and armor pieces which are craftable after that in the different workbenches. Finally back at our wooden friend we can unlock the blueprint and craft a new armor piece. Like I said, I will not go into detail on the advanced workbenches etc. This is after all a video about the very basic mechanics of the game. The last big part is leveling. Like I mentioned, through basically everything you can earn XP slash levels. You need them to be able to unlock new recipes and every level up you receive a frozen flame. The frozen flames are used on the altars you can find across the map as well to skill different classes and abilities. The first level up in the middle of each circle unlocks the new class. For example, ranger is needed to wield a bow, mage for wielding a staff, etc. And after that you can unlock different buffs and spells in every class. 
All the spells can be learned, but only three can be used at the same time. NPCs NPCs will guide you through the main storyline, which I will cover in another video, but they are as well traders. For example, this NPC you will find near the spawn points as a backpack, which is very important for additional weight. You can earn coins through random chance by killing different mobs and find them in boxes or vases and there are some dungeons or cursed camps where they are the main reward. Yeah, and there are emojis as well. Type slash e in the chat and you'll see a list of all of the available ones. While we are at it, let me know how you like my new intro and if you for whatever reason come to the stupid conclusion you want to support me financially, my Patreon is linked in the description. Anyways, have an awesome life, that's a comment, all hail to the Grand Blob and goodbye.